I created Bumblebee Acutherapy after living in Japan and working and studying in the acupuncture field for over 10 years. I moved back to Colorado where I'm from and found that there were just no acutherapy clinics for children that specifically specialized in their treatment. As a mother of three, really wanted to have a place not only where I could trust my children's care, but also treat friends and family and the whole community. I studied Japanese acutherapy and Japanese acupuncture in Japan for over 10 years, five of which was specifically focused on pediatric care. I'm also a teacher of pediatric acutherapy in the United States and run international tours, both in bringing teachers from Japan to the U.S. to teach other acupuncturists, but also to bring international acupuncturists to Japan to learn Japanese acupuncture. I'm actually licensed in two different countries. I'm one of the very, very few in the entire United States that has licensure um, in both Japan and the United States. So I'm licensed in Japan as an acupuncture and moxibustion therapist, and I'm also licensed in the U.S. under NCCAOM and uh, in Colorado through DORA. Traditional Japanese acutherapy, also called shonishin or teishin tools, are, were created in Japan to treat the most sensitive of their population, so elderly, the very sick, and of course children. Here at Bumblebee Acutherapy, we use only um, skin contact acutherapy tools to treat newborns all the way up to 14. A typical treatment for a newborn might last only a minute. Uh, it looks a lot like skin touch therapy, um, but it's actually a lot more powerful than that. A child up to the age of 14, their treatment might last 10 to 15 minutes, but usually no longer. And the child is totally able to move throughout the treatment. If it's a newborn or a nursing baby, they're able to nurse during the treatment. The child can eat during the treatment. And we're set up here at Bumblebee Act Therapy to make sure that the child has a fun, and relaxing, and comfortable experience while they're getting treatment. Your kid definitely does not ever have to sit still during an acutherapy treatment. They are free to play. We have toys and tents and books here. They're free to nurse, eat, drink, whatever they need to do to feel comfortable. Saying that most kids during treatment tend to want to lay down and they usually um, want to sit still because it just is so comfortable for them. So usually for really acute illnesses or symptoms. For example, if they've had a stomach ache for the past two weeks, they might need two or three treatments within one week in order just to get their body and their immune system back on track. After that, usually it's once a week or once every two weeks. And if they're still okay at that at two weeks, then we bump it up to once a month for immune system care. Some kids who um, have something a little bit more chronic, so for kiddos that are coming in for tummy aches that they've had for over a year. Their treatment might last a little bit longer, so they might have a duration of about three months of once a week treatments. But usually three to four treatments for most things is enough to get kids to a good place and get their immune system back on track. The goal here is to help the kids feel better and back being to the little superheroes that they are so they can go back into the world and play outside and totally have fun with their friends. 